Hi all, welcome to the Solatam Team of the Season predictions video. This one's also going to be a little bit tricky because you've got four leagues to factor in, which is Chile, Mexico, Argentina and Colombia. So you might expect a lot of content, you might expect not as much as we hope, but there's plenty I think that will get our teeth involved in. And also if you've got the Conan Ball cards, these may be affected as well. But if you can smash the links, would be awesome. Sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter, G at the Legend. All the links are down below, follow us on the channel and social media links as always. And comment down below who you think might get a LATAM Team of the Season card. Um, some good individual cards I think to expect, but as I said, those that have Conan Ball I think may expect a boost. Um, the Conan Ball SBC, I think we might see a fourth player. And then Mexico may see two extra players added in as well. So jumping into the squad, I have started off with Andrada. Um, 80 rated base card that he has and I think a team this season would boost him to about say 91, 92. I think that will make him significant um, because he's been consistent yet again in Argentina. Seems very logical from that. Then Aguilar seems to be the defensive shouts that for what I've read into Mexican League because I've tried to kind of balance out as best I can but at the same time it's not easy um, when you're trying to kind of balance out who should get in and who shouldn't then Bragueri the Argentine centre back in the Colombian League who has a 74 rated card he looks like he's going to get a good boost up hopefully with a bit of luck um, so see what happens with him Sanchez he looks like he needs a good pace boost and saying that in general he's been due and informed a few times. I've had him in predictions a couple of times, he's not been in and I'm hoping this is the time that he finally gets given in a special card because he deserves it and it, I, I actually think if the boost it right he'd be, he could, well not max out in defence and physical but at least a good pace boost is what is necessary for this card. Guzman, the, uh, Vic, I'm sure it's Victor Guzman if my memory serves right, for what I've noted here. Um, he looks like he should be in, um, pretty much consistent all around the field. And uh, could be like an 88 rate that just fits all around the 80 plus club. But we'll see what happens with him. I read he got a team season last year, he's a base gold this FIFA. And could easily, looking at the stats, he seems to be quite consistent for what I've seen and I would imagine if they were to boost him up they need to boost up the pace enough to make him feel usable and I think that's where they, where they would go with him um, I would imagine maybe um, like 80 plus pace in that regards now for the first couple of uh, corner ball cards that might see a boost is Edson Pooch and Fuen, Fuenzaldia if I pronounced that right, I apologise if I mucked that up the two Chilean wingers um, might see boosts um, in regards but they've both been pretty consistent for what I've seen regardless and if they were to try and make the LATAM team of the season look a bit more appealing this is the way to do it um, is picking some of the corner ball cards that have been given a significant boost but we'll see what happens though. if corner ball cards that have had special cards I'd imagine some will be boosted for tots that have been impressive and some may not in regards but we'll see what as I said see what happens with it um, two players that do deserve spots not on Conan Ball but actual on the ability is Funes Mori and Gignac Funes Mori um, another consistent season in the Mexican League um, hopefully this team of season card um, I think could be his best yet um, obviously he's got an 81 and 84 special cards at the moment and I would imagine Tots maybe like 91, 92 be a bit fun uh, with that, Gignac could be the troll French player that everyone's going about. Some people say, "Oh, it's not a troll. This is the card we all want." Aaron Benyedder and Mbappe, but um, Gignac, 93 rated. I think I think they're going to make him a significant boost. Always seems to be consistent these days, um, regardless of what league he's in. Obviously, he's been at Mexico for a number of seasons now, but I think this one could be his. Maybe the best yet, tied with like last year's card. Um, obviously, quite a lot of special cards last year, like the Player of the Year, for example. Um, if you've got a chance to try that at all, um, we'll see what happens with that. Then, Lissandro Lopez, I think, could be the highest rated card in LATAM if they do it. Um, I feel Lissandro Lopez, obviously, is a 91 rated card. I feel a plus 3 or plus 4 boost isn't enough to kind of make him stand out. If you want to make his. Torch card 
a really, really stand out and say, right, we're going to go absolutely insane. Let's make it 96 rated. Let's go crazy. Have a bit of fun. Like, if you've ever tried any of Alessandro Lopez special cards, like his Carnival card, I got a wee shot, but it was a bit of fun. Um, I've always enjoyed Alessandro Lopez when he ever gets a special card. I wouldn't mind that Alessandro Lopez if it's like 95, 96 rated with some insane boost. As I said, Guzman looks the second goalkeeper, I think that might happen. Um, Nakax has got a goalkeeper that's been impressive as well. Um, but I think they may try and stick with the usual uh, candidates as well from Mexico that's more consistent usually or m more known as it were within the league but we will see what happens with that. Defenders though in general it's still a little bit up in the air and um, I've tried to kind of balance out as best I can. Biton seems one show that stood out for me. Um, he might, he's got quite a lot of um, like He's been very consistent in goal, like assists and goals for what I've seen, and he could be someone that gets in from a left back view, which would be quite interesting. Then players like Pinares, Jimenez, and Sand, these players, and their resp respectively, have all been consistent in the goals and assists front. And um, Sand, especially, I think, even at the age of like thirty nine, still banging the goals in in the Argentinian league. Um, obviously he's got a gold base card and I think this could be like the last year that he might suddenly get a team of the season or a chance of a team of the season let's give him it be a bit of fun um, he would get a significant pace boost so that's kind of why we've got him in then someone like Matthias Suarez is the top combined goals and assist player in the Argentinian league I think that should kind of guarantee his spot Angel Mena not being as impressive but he was due at least an inform this year and hasn't happened but I think a team this season would be at least meriting of his spot Rodriguez right back I think the team if I'm right isn't the, the, the team like, haven't got a license in the game or something um, but his he got an inform quite early in FIFA and I think on those performances even for what I've read he's got a lot of assists and um, quite a few goals under his name as well and I think he deserves a spot in the team of the season um, Quiroga continued his form f I think it was last season he was in like one of our leagues very impressive and then translated his form into the Mexican league uh, Souza position I'm not sure on um, I've seen right wing and striker consistently for his um, performances I um, think he deserves a very good shout. Polido, another consistent striker within the Mexican league. Um, he could easily be one of the players that they may add as the Liga MX, like say Special 2 for example. And the final player is Bolanos. Um, I've gave him a significant boost. He's been consistent on the goals and especially the assist front for what I've read. But if I was honest, when I look at this squad of 23 players like Polido, Bonas, uh, Bolanos could easily be added in as like 90 rated cards to the Liga MX. Conanball, Sudamericana and Libertadores, if they add a fourth, I suspect they will probably try and take a, a gold player and boost it to 90 rated. Um, obviously it's within, maybe they might do say one Argentine for Libertadores and Sudamericana could be a, one of the like Colombia or uh, Chilean leagues for example but they'll specifically make sure that whoever players I would imagine they'll pick it's based around it so I would suspect those players will be added all in on Tuesday um, along with obviously when we get the MLS and the Lagoon players so there's going to be hopefully quite a lot like, and then like your general objective players this might be where the objective player does not feature because MLS might get it because I think there's going to be so many players from uh, LATAM so you might have like all told maybe say 25 players 25-26 players so it could be a, quite a full on um, pile of this so you might end up with like say 5-6 to six players consistently from each um, league as it were but I think LATAM could be a bit of fun like Cornwall was a lot of fun when they dropped like your Valencia, your Tevez, your Salvios and we could see the same again with this Latam talks as it unless he suddenly makes a number of the Latam cards suddenly um be like the, how the 
Quantum Ball will certainly boost them even further to kind of make it overkill, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Well, let me know, folks, in the comments who you think might get a LATAM torch. Smash the like, so always, sub to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you all later.